Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love. We have Mark behind the camera. Hey, Todd. Hey, today we have chosen to show you two machines that you may have seen on the website. And you're wondering, well, what's the difference between them? Because see, you do see some similarities. So we thought we'd do the video to show you what they are. Mm -hmm. On the right here, we have the Pasquini Livia G4. And this one is the Bezerra BZ07. Both are PID controlled machines, heat exchanger style machines, programmable, so you can program how much coffee you brew. Whether it's you know, like a, you'll see over here, we can do a single shot for that, a double shot, and they can also work as a manual. And you see over here, it's the same thing single, double, manual. Manual, I'll say you push the button to start the brewing, push the button to stop. The BZ07 is a little taller, it's got some stainless steel legs here, raise it up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. The gauge on the Pasquini is just a brew pressure gauge, it goes up to 16 bar, usually brews around nine. Mm -hmm. And over here on the Bezerra, we have a double gauge. One will show you the steam pressure, one's the brew pressure. So you'll see when I, you can see that one's the steam pressure. Yep. Uh, there's no back pressure, so you're right. not going to go up, but yeah. that is the brew pressure. We'll show that one of these gauges work a little bit later. Uh, reservoirs on both machines are in the back here, and they both come out like this. They have a pressure plate underneath them that uh, makes it so the machine only go on when there's water in it. What do you prefer as far as, you know, the pressure plates and magnets in the, in the reservoirs that monitor levels? Does it make I don't difference? really care. Doesn't make they a difference. both work. We they got a work. different yeah. all kinds of machines. Yeah. Uh, let's see, take a look at the front here. Well, you notice the aesthetics are pretty different. Yeah. You know, some people like this exposed chrome-plated brass brew group. And that's uh, a heated group. That's a heated group. There's two heaters built into either side here, mm -hmm. one here, one here. And on the Pasquini, there's a single heater. But it's like, still heated. See, yeah. we'll show you up inside over here. So that's inside. Here's the Pasquini one. It's got the brass brew group there. And uh, here's a thermostat for your heater. Mm -hmm. uh, these are unlike the E61 groups you see on some other machines that have a thermal siphon system that uses that to heat the group. These use electric heaters. Right. Mm -hmm. Drip trays come out the front. And these are 1,400 watt heating elements in these. Uh, a little, a little more dress. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but a little more, little more branding on the Pasquini. You've got the yep. fun little logo on the side. Yep. The port the filter handles. Yep. That, that yeah. feels pretty good in your hand, actually. It's not bad. Yeah. Not yeah. bad. Very different. Yeah. Uh, but good. Oh, we noticed something about the baskets, too, right? Oh, yeah. The, the baskets on the Bezerra are large. That's like a 20 gram basket. Yeah. You know, 19 to 20. Sure. Uh, depending on uh, the coffee and the brisa that you are, everybody has a little different preference. Uh, your standard uh, 18 grams, 17 grams, give or take yep. a little bit. All chrome plated with brass porta filters. And you notice on these, when you set them on the counter, they have both uh, angled porta filters, but this is a little bit different because of this uh, little knob, little on, knob the on the handle yeah. keeps it up. That's one's pretty level on the pass or on the. Uh, uh, the Bezerra. Well, you got to have the knob for the logo on the end, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, branding is fun, though. You know? Yeah. For yeah. some people, love branding. You, know, yeah. you look at the Rocket R58, lots of branding. Right. Yeah. And then the Pro 700, a little less branding. Right. Uh, Bezerra stamps their their uh, logo and name right in there. And that's that's really about it on this mm -hmm. one, right? Yeah. Yep. So, uh, hot water knob over here, or wand over here. There's your hot water. They both use the kind of the lever valves. Right? Yep, hot water. This one is right in the middle. Now, the, on both of them, they have the same type of joystick over here that controls the steam pressure on the valve. Push it down, and it doesn't stay. Push it up, and it stays. You get it. Yep. So when you're frothing, you want to turn off this, just hit it down. Both have two whole steam tips with no burn steam ones. No burn steam ones. <laughs> Lucky for you. Well, maybe not. Well, it's <laughs> it's a little warm? It gets, okay. it gets a little warm. warm. Yeah. Okay, so. so I take that back. Okay. Uh, okay. That's the basics of the machine. If you want to see inside, just real quick, they both yeah. look pretty this is similar. The 07. Yeah, the 07. There's your PID up top there, your copper boiler that's plated, and your Jakarta controls. It's pretty basic. I don't think mm -hmm. you have to go through the whole thing. Right. Just a well made machine. The only Teflon tubing you find in under pressure. Tubing mm -hmm. that's Teflon is from the pump, which is over Way here. Back in there. Yep, which yep. goes over to the uh, to the boiler. Other mm -hmm. than that, it's all copper boiling. All this, uh, all copper tubing. Excuse mm -hmm. me, I'm trying to rush, which I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> uh, this tubing over here is all non-pressure tubing. Non-pressure. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. 
And the Pasquini is going to be very, very similar. In Correct. Time. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So okay. We're gonna, you want to do some brewing? Yeah, we're going to brew and steam on the brewing. Pasquini, right? Yeah, we'll choose the Pasquini this time. Okay. These little Hario scales are nice. Yeah. It has a timer. If we were up there, let me reset that. But, uh, and it's got your grams on it. Yeah, if you're into the pour over coffee, there's a stand that holds the uh, whole pour over cone and everything sits right on there. It's okay, wonderful for pour over. Well, 17.9 grams of this one. Oh, uh, you're, you're short, short a tenth. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell. Okay. I love your uh, tamping pad there. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Any port in the storm. Yeah. You know, one thing we didn't talk about was why we put a PID on the heat exchanger machine. Yeah. Why? Normally it's on a machine that's a dual boiler or maybe a single boiler. Um, it's a good control system, really what it comes down to. It's Get rid a good, of a pressure stat, yeah, right? When you exactly. So you don't have a pressure stat. Mm -hmm. A reliability is fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do want to raise the brew temperature, you can raise the temperature up on your on your heat exchanger boiler. Now we won't be like you you won't be brewing at 199, but you will raise the temperature. It just doesn't give you unit measurement that's exact to the brewing temperature, right. but it gives you a point of reference. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. It's, so it's not that's not <laughs> although it pretends to be sort of it's really not the exact brewing temperature and then a lot of that's gonna depend on flushing and different things. Correct. And, but you do have a point of reference. Yep. So if you want to raise up the brew temperature you raise that from 199 up to 204, and yeah. you get a different temperature. A little hotter. You notice it's got nice pressure on this. Yeah. And the Bizarro is going to be pretty much the same. They have yep. the same boilers, same wattage. Correct. Same two hole steam tip. Yep. Yeah, it gets hot. It gets hot? Okay. So <laughs> it's not a no burn. Correct. Try to add a tulip in there for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. oh, It'll work. So, Mark, anything else you want to talk about? No, just, I mean, two really kind of, you know, very similar machines. Yeah. Aesthetically different. Yeah, I mean, you get like a little more, a little more cup warmer out of the... Uh, there you go. You know, so you, you get a... You get the yeah. two-tier shelf from yeah. the Pasquini. You get the two different looks. You yeah. know, I've heard a lot of people say they like this better. Yeah. You know, me personally, I do kind of like this. And I'm not yeah. really a flashy guy, but I do like this. Right. But I hear a lot of people say they like this better. So right. that's your choice. Yeah. Um, I think that covers these machines. Well, almost. Hang on. Oh, he's got another thing. Got, got to oh, check the height. The size. Okay. We're almost 15 inches, 14 and 3 quarters, and then we're 14. And that's mostly due to those Most kind of the larger legs, legs down yep. there. And our widths yep. are about 10 inches. So they're compact cool. machines. Yeah. So they can fit on... On most counters, even when counter space is very, very valuable, and usually one of the spouses have to give up some spots. So very similar performance out of these two, yep. right? It's just yep. kind of what you like better aesthetically. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay. Top of the whole lot, hey, love, and Mark, thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelatelove.com. Oh,